Hi, Alex Forte here. Today I am talking about the simplicity that everyday life and baseball can teach you about the golf swing. Now, you know, I was uh, down in Kentucky with a friend and colleague and we were playing in the yard there, you know, hitting wiffle balls, just throwing around with this little kid who's really good by the way. Um, but we were just having fun with the family and you know, there was no need for instruction, as it were. There was no need for instruction about how to hit the ball or how to throw the ball. People just did it. Without thinking, they just did it. So what I want to give you today is just a simple drill. I'm not going to go on too much, but I want to give you a simple drill, which is what the art of simple golf is about, to make you kind of have that realization that, man, like, why do I think so much about the golf swing? Why am I thinking about positions so much? When, if you take a baseball bat, if you've got one lying around, and I'm, the reason I'm here is because I just want to beat some trees down, really, but we've got this branch hanging down here, and if I said to you, I want you to take a swing with this baseball to that branch there, do you think for one second you would stand here and go, okay, what I need to do, I need to make sure my address position is correct. I need to make sure the weight is on the balls of my feet. Now, my takeaway needs to be all in one piece, keeping my hands in front of the body. Then I hinge, and then I'm going to shift my weight to the left, and then release through. I don't think so. If you did, you'd be a bit odd. Because if I said, come and have a whack, come and give this a good hit, you'd just say, okay, what, with this? All right, you stand there, you'd swing back, and you'd swing. Now you see there, immediately, I was thinking about the, the target, which was here, but swinging through to make sure I had enough energy, but also, the, my positions, if you will, at the top of the backswing were irrelevant. They slotted into where they needed to be for me to hit this particular uh, shot, if you will, to make sure that I struck the branch where I wanted to. So I just swing back. Oh, look at that. I'm in a perfect goal swing position, right? But I didn't have to try and place myself there. My objective dictated what I was trying to do. So I really want you to grab, if you haven't got a baseball bat, just grab an a, a alignment stick even, and give this a good slash, you know, as if it's, uh, that you're going to really swipe through it like a big strong branch and you whip through. But look where you get to. You wouldn't be like this. You wouldn't be restrictive. You just feel the whip, feel the motion that your swing can create. So that's all I want you to do. Hit some branches. Imagine you've got a tee ball here and just swing away. Swing with the club away and just feel that effortless movement because you'll notice that you get the right sequence that you want to have a nice free-flowing swing without having to think about it. So all you need to do is have some practice swings up here, swing through, I just hit myself with the branch, but then you lower down, swing through, so it's nice and free flowing. Do that and you'll suddenly be awakened to a different type of golf swing. Thanks.